everybody, it's Danielle here, one of the art therapists at Sinai for Tracy's Kids. And today I wanted to teach you how to make contact paper sun catchers. So for you, those of you that don't know what contact paper is, it's a paper, it kind of looks like this. Sometimes it's used as shelf paper and it's got a paper side, like a sticker that you peel off and then a clear side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some sun catchers with tissue paper and this contact paper. So this is one I made earlier. Um, and when you hang them up in the window, because the tissue paper um, is translucent, it, you know, it shines really nice when the sun comes through. So what you need is your contact paper, two pieces that are the same size. You need some tissue paper, which I have like right here. Mine's already in pre-cut squares, but if you just have regular tissue paper and you want to cut it into the, whatever shapes you want, or if you want to rip it, that's totally fine too and you're wanna, gonna want a pair of scissors and perhaps a marker. So one of the things that you can do is you can just peel this off and start putting tissue paper everywhere and then cut it to the shape that you want because um, as long as you cover your page, when you cut it out, you'll have a section that's covered in tissue paper, which is kind of what I did for this part here. Um, if you want to know your shape in a Advanced, you can use a marker to draw the shape first. You want to draw it on the clear side of your contact paper. So if I were going to draw a heart again, but I didn't know like how to just freehand cut it, I could draw it. So I have my heart. So then when we start to put tissue paper, I know where I want to put the tissue paper on my page. So the first step after that is you are going to peel away that sticker part on your contact paper. So you're just gonna peel it away. We don't need this part, and we just need the clear part. We're gonna lay the clear part, sticker side up, sticky side up, onto um, our table or our work surface. Then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start sticking on the tissue paper. So you can put it in a specific order. You can do it however you want, you know, just kind of all over the place. It just depends on how particular you want. If you're doing like a sun or something that's a very specific image that you want to have specific colors, then you can just, you know, curate your colors to match that. So you're just gonna start to put your pieces on like that. I have one that I'm already working on that I'll finish and show you guys. So this is my working on a watermelon. So I'm gonna sit here and you're just gonna want to, I just wanna fill these holes in. It sticks to your fingers. So I'm just gonna take this and fill the rest of my clear space in. The other thing you can do is if you have clear space but you don't wanna fill it all in, you don't need to, that will just You'll be able to see through it. And it's okay if you overlap some pieces and they don't stick completely to the paper because that will get solved in our next step. So I'm just gonna take one more. And one thing I'm gonna do to mine, since I don't have any black tissue paper, is I want seeds in my watermelon. So I'm gonna use a marker and that's something else that you can do. You can draw, you can do whatever you want um, inside this first layer. So if you wanted some parts that weren't see-through, you could um, cut out some like uh, construction paper pieces and add them in um, so that you had parts that were see-through and parts that were not see-through. Let's see, what do we think? Maybe one more seed? I think that's good. So the next step is, ooh, I got a, I got a piece that got stuck there, but that's okay, we'll cut it off. Is we're gonna take our second piece of contact paper, which you should already kind of have cut to the same size as the first one you used. And we are going to take it off again. And then we wanna put the sticky side on top of our image that we just made. We wanna smooth it out a little bit. So make sure it all sticks together. 
lost my computer a little bit there. So, as you can see, we have both sides are no longer sticky, which makes it a lot easier to cut than if we were to have just pre-cut. So what we're going to do now is you can leave it like this or you can cut it out to the shape that you want it to be. So I want my watermelon to be pretty cut out. So I'm going to cut off this, this excess. I'm not going to do it like super perfectly around the tissue paper, but just to get that watermelon shape. There we go. So now I have this watermelon. I can poke a hole here and hang it by a string. I can tape it in the window. Um, and it's gonna look really awesome when the sun comes through. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, if you guys make any sun captures that you wanna share with us, feel free to contact us and send us pictures. We love seeing the artwork that you guys make. Um, and enjoy, have a good day everybody.